We're going to get an honestly balanced budget, um, hopefully uh, on time. Word is negotiations are winding down, but will the next two year state budget include new taxes, including an income tax hike on the wealthy? The House Speaker says that was a red line from the administration. And he's like, I'm not going to go there. And until he shows wiggle room there. The conversations have been blunt. Lamont says he's against broad based tax increases, especially against the wealthy. But what about the Transportation Climate Initiative? It has a fee which will add 10 cents to gas prices over the next few years. On Thursday, I asked the governor if TCI was still on the table. That provides a little bit of resources uh, so that we can do environmental things and provide free bus service starting this weekend. At a press conference about those free rides, Lamont acknowledged the increase to gas prices again. It is a fee on pollutants paid for at the wholesale level. Sometimes they can pass that along. That's up to them. Republicans haven't been in the room for budget negotiations, but their ideas have been included. House Minority Leader tells me his members are against taxes, especially when the state has a surplus. If the governor is going to say, don't tax my wealthy friends in Greenwich, then you shouldn't be taxing middle class with a gas tax. Other revenue ideas that News 8 has learned are out a digital tax. The health insurance tax, or HIT tax, is still reportedly in the budget. The $46 billion package also includes bonding and a new bonding infrastructure fund for cities. If we can say that we're going to stick with the ECS formula we agreed to in 2017, people will go, that's pretty good. If Husky A is expanded, they'll go, that's pretty good. There's a lot of good stuff. The legislative session ends in 12 days. At the state capitol in Hartford, Jody Latina, News 8.